Today on Under the Big Tree, we review the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, a very nice piece of kit that sits atop your DSLR camera and is a massive audio improvement over the cheesy microphone that's built in. Let's check it out. Today, we're going to be doing a gear review of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This unit is a shotgun mic that you can attach to the hot shoe at the top of your camera and be able to use it to be able to get higher quality audio for videos that you're making on the fly. All right, let's see what came in the box. What's in the box? Oh, I'm so excited. Farewell box. All right, the Video Mic Pro Plus. Video Mic Pro Plus on-camera shotgun mic. Let's see what it comes with. Pop the top open. All right, very, very simple, basic blister pack. Nothing too fancy, but nothing too fancy is needed. Comes with the actual mic itself that has a permanent built-in pop filter, which is kind of neat. Okay, there's a very short cable that's used to be able to plug it into the camera. And then it has a video charging cable, a USB cable, that is used to be able to charge the lithium ion battery that comes with it. So you don't have to worry about batteries. Although my understanding is if that if you run out of juice with this thing, you can replace it with a couple of AA batteries and keep going. Then, small instruction manual, instruction panel, and that's it. Let's take a look at the thing itself. It's really light, and it has a very nice shock mount system built right in. It's got a single tip ring sleeve plug on the back and a number of different controls that we will get into and take a look at later. There are a number of notable features which were well thought out by Rode and welcome elements that make this mic that much more usable. There is a big power button, which makes it easy to see when the mic is on and using power. For power, the mic has a lithium ion rechargeable battery, which is a really pro feature. Part of any videographer's ritual is the recharging of all the batteries when coming back from a shoot. The camera batteries, the light batteries, the field recorder batteries. Doing the Rhodes battery at the same time is easy to remember and do. In case you forget, the lithium ion battery is cleverly shaped the same as a pair of AA batteries, which you can substitute in a pinch. You can also power off USB, which skips the need of having a battery altogether. The Rode has a built-in foam covering, which helps reduce wind noise somewhat, though on a windy day, you're going to want to improve the performance by putting a furry wind cover over the mic, such as those from Rode, Rycote, or Newer. It has a super cardioid polar pattern, which has its pluses and minuses. It rejects the sound coming from the rear, but picks up what is in front of and on the sides of it. This is okay for many situations, but still can pick up extraneous noise from the sides more than a traditional broadcast shotgun mic such as the Sennheiser 416. You'll typically hear more of the room sound and less of the direct sound this way. There is an elastic cradle to decouple it from the camera. So if you're walking around using it handheld, it is less likely to pick up thumps from your footsteps or from handling the camera itself. It has three gain settings to optimize recording levels into lousy DSLR mic pre's, 0, minus 10, and plus 20. The plus 20 dB is particularly useful when recording directly into your camera. The preamplifier in the mic is of higher quality than a typical one in a camera, so you can turn down the camera's preamp and let the mic do more of the heavy lifting. This will result in a cleaner or less noisy recording. The VideoMic Pro Plus has a high-pass filter with 75 and 150 Hz roll-off frequencies. This is terrifically useful for eliminating unwanted rumble from air conditioners, fans, or wind from your recording. There is a high gain boost which switches the mic from being more neutral to artificially boosting gain in the upper frequencies a bit. Between using this tool and the high pass filter, you should be able to optimize the mic for dialogue recording, getting rid of low rumble and emphasizing the higher frequency letter sounds like S and T. It can take a punishing amount of signal before distorting, up to 133 dB, which is in the realm of jet engines. Finally, it has a safety track. This is a pro feature that I think is just fantastic. 
When recording someone, you get your levels dialed in and are ready to go. But then, if they yell or speak in an unexpectedly loud voice, you can easily distort the recording, making it unusable without even realizing it. With the safety track, Rode records the same material on the right side 10 decibels quieter than on the left. So in a pinch, you can substitute the quieter material, thus saving the recording. Well, all the specs and features in the world are very nice, but what does it sound like? Well, to start with, I took the road out into the world and did a little bit of field recording. You heard a couple of the clips right at the top of this video, but here are some longer versions of them to give you a little bit more of an idea what it sounds like. But the majority of the time, you're going to be recording dialogue, so we really need to know what the microphone sounds like in that context. So, I recorded three different microphones here in the studio so you could get an idea of the differences in sound. The first one was the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. The second one, sitting right next to it, was a Sennheiser 416 shotgun mic, the broadcast industry standard. And the third is the Sony ECM-55B lavalier mic that I'm wearing right now. So let's compare and contrast the three of them. I wonder where that fish has gone. You did love it so. You looked after it like a son. And it went wherever I did go. Is it in the cupboard? Wouldn't you like to know? It was a lovely little fish, and it went wherever I did go. Where can that fish be? It is a most elusive fish. And it went wherever I did go. Oh, fishy, 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 fish. A fish, a fish, a fish, a fishy. Ooh! Ooh, fishy, 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 fish! That went wherever I did go! So there's my take on the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. At $300, it is an investment on the part of the videographer but it is of significantly higher quality than the cheaper off-brand competition and still a fraction of the cost of broadcast quality shotgun mics from Sennheiser or Neumann. Most importantly, it delivers good sound quality and a number of important options on the rear panel while being small, light, and incredibly convenient to use in conjunction with a DSLR camera. If you already have a Rode VideoMic Pro, then there might not be enough features here to warrant the expense. But if you are looking for your first mic to improve the sound quality of your videos, you could hardly come up with a better choice than this one. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, if you like what we're doing here on Under the Big Tree, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, signing off.